If you click on this video, I'm sure you've heard the word CICD before. In a landscape where innovation and speed are paramount, the journey from code to production has never been more vital. CICD, which stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment, has emerged to be the keystone of modern software development. Meaning every big company out there, be it Apple, Intel, Amazon, Switch, or even Bell, do have a form of CICD in place. But the question is, why? So stick around for a few minutes to understand this concept. While multi-million dollar companies like Apple are constantly releasing new versions of their product to production, they need a mechanism in place to make sure that they're still staying efficient and only releasing the best products to the end client. You know what? Let's just imagine that Apple releases a new version of the phone called Apple Infinity. And if you're anything like me, I love Apple products. So I'm probably going to pre-order that phone and wait two to three weeks for it to come in the mail. But after going through the internet and realizing that this new version only has a few changes compared to the last, hmm, I'm probably still going to be excited. But on the day the phone comes, the camera sucks and the battery is not as resistant as what I would expect from a normal Apple product. Of course I'll be pissed. I'm probably going to call customer service, complain for a few hours and leave a bad review. And that's bad for business. As an angry customer will most likely not purchase any of your future products, this could lead to bad press or at the least, they might be requesting for a refund. So with the hope of avoiding all this hustle, most modern companies today have a CICD pipeline in place. But what does this CICD acronym really stand for? CI, also known as continuous integration, is a practice that simplifies and improves the way software is built. So at its core, CI is all about bringing a sense of consistency and teamwork to the development process. Imagine a team of developers working on a software project. In the traditional development process, each developer might have to work on a piece of code independently, and these pieces might only come together once it's ready to be released to production. This approach often leads to a lot of challenges because it's hard to predict how the code is actually going to work once it's released to production. But with the CI process, things are different. Because every time a developer makes a change to the code base, these changes are immediately integrated into the central code repository, a place where all the code for the specific project is stored and shared. This happens frequently, often multiple times a day. It's like building a puzzle together piece by piece instead of trying to assemble it all at the end. And this constant integration of code is basically where the name CI came from. But to be sincere, CI is really more than just frequent code integrations. It's also about automation. When a developer submits their new code changes, the pipeline is automatically triggered. It runs as a set of automated tests and checks on the new code to make sure that it doesn't break anything and also that it plays nicely with the existing code. This test includes unit testing, integration testing, and even more. If the test passes, it then gives a green light indicating that the code fits well and doesn't break anything. But if something does go wrong, the CI system sends immediate feedback to the developers. This feedback is invaluable because it allows developers to fix issues while the code changes are still fresh in their minds, which makes problem solving faster and more efficient. By testing and integrating the code frequently, CI reduces the chances of big complex problems emerging later in the development process. It promotes better code quality by ensuring that the code changes are consistently and automatically tested leading to a more reliable software. It also facilitates collaboration among the developers because it ensures that everyone's code works together, promoting a unified and cohesive code base. In summary, most modern companies use the CI as a safety net in the software development process. It keeps everything in check, ensuring code quality and helps you cache and fix problems early. Continuous integration is a practice that streamlines the development process, making it faster, more reliable, and more collaborative, which to be sincere is an essential element in today's software development landscape. Now, let's talk about the CD path. So just give me four more minutes of your time, and by the end of this, you have a perfect mastery of what a CI CD pipeline entails. CD, also known as continuous deployment, is a natural extension of continuous integration. It's all about automating the process of getting the code into the hands of the end users, which are basically the people using the app or website you develop. So CD makes this deployment process faster, reliable, and consistent. It ensures that whenever the code changes passes all the CI checks, 
it's automatically moved to the various environments, which will include staging, pre-prod, and production. Now, think about the benefits of that. CD reduces manual interventions, as the chances of human error during deployment are eliminated. It allows you to quickly release new features, bugs, fixes, and updates. You're no longer waiting for a specific day or time to release new software. It happens as soon as the code is ready. It's like a restaurant serving dishes as soon as they're cooked and not waiting to the end of the day to do so. Think about the benefits of this process. You no longer have developers saying, oh, it worked on my machine. I don't know why it doesn't work on production. But rather, users will receive new features faster and if there are any bugs, they can be fixed and deployed swiftly. In summary, Continuous deployment is about making sure the code changes reaches the end user's hands quickly, reliably and without any hiccups. It's like the final smooth phase of the software development journey, ensuring that your hard work and innovations are available to the world as soon as they're ready, helping you stay competitive and responsive to the fast moving world of software development. But the problem is, most people always ask if CD stands for continuous delivery or continuous deployment. Let's touch base on this final point before we end for today. So these two terms often sound similar, but they do have different meanings when it comes to the CI-CD pipeline. Continuous deployment in the context of a CI-CD refers to the practice of automatically and consistently deploying code changes to production as soon as they pass all necessary tests and checks. This means whenever the code change passes all the CI steps, it's automatically released to the production environment for reusers to access without going through any manual approval. While continuous delivery on the other hand, is a practice where code changes are automatically and consistently made ready for deployment, but are not automatically deployed to production. Instead, they go through a final manual approval step by a human. So as you notice, the final distinction between these two lies in the final step of deploying the code to production. Continuous deployment automatically releases the code to production while continuous delivery needs manual approval before the code is actually released to production. As you all noticed, the heart of the CI-CD pipeline is its structured steps of automation. Each pipeline is unique and tailored to the specific organization's needs and objective. These pipelines perform numerous tasks from code compilation and testing to packaging and deployment they serve as a roadmap guide for your code from inception to production. To maintain order in the CI-CD journey, we employ a version control system like Git. Branching strategies help manage different aspects of the software development. We employ security checks, encryptions, and access control to safeguard the integrity of the software delivery process. Regular audits and monitoring ensures that the pipeline remains fortified against potential threats. In summary, CI-CD is the cornerstone of modern software development. It's a journey that accelerates innovation, ensuring quality and promotes collaboration. If I can get 50 comments on this video, I'll go ahead to make a more detailed video where we'll have some hands-on experience on Jenkins, GitHub, and most of the CI-CD tools we use in the industry today. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive exploration of CI-CD. Keep learning, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of software development. Until next time, keep grinding. Cheers.